Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today's video is all about using 2022's paint color trends in feng shui. This video will be broken down into three parts. Essentially, what I want to do is talk about how to use colors in feng shui, how to overlay the colors onto your bagua map so that you can enhance certain corners of your home. Whether or not you want to enhance the love and relationship corner, the wealth and money corner, or maybe the children and relationships corner, I'll show you how to create more abundance in your life using key elemental colors. The second part is going to be dissecting Benjamin Moore's 2022 paint color trends of the year. In the third portion of the video, I'll share ways on how you can incorporate those colors without painting entire walls. Let's jump right into it and talk about feng shui colors and how they are laid out on the Bagua map. In that previous video, I showed you how to take compass directions of your home, how to overlay the Bagua map and divide it into grids. So it's essentially a nine section grid that's overlaid onto your home's existing floor plan. Whether or not you chose to do a living room or the entire expanse of the home, you're basically sectioning off your space into a three by three grid. You've got the north corner, the south corner, the east, the west, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, and so on. Of course, not everyone is going to have a perfect three by three grid. You might have some missing corners. Your north corner might be at an angle. So of course you want to overlay that map onto the angled corners and do the best you can. So now that you understand the grid and all of the elements that correspond to each compass direction, let's talk about color. Using a similar grid that's overlaid onto your room's floor plan, you'll be breaking the room up into nine sections. You've got the north corner, south corner, east corner, west corner, northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. Not only is each corner tied to a specific element, it's also tied to a particular color. The north corner is all about your career and life path. This is all about finding your mission in life, your life's purpose, and this color is predominantly black and dark tones. Moving in a clockwise direction, you've got your northeast corner, which is the knowledge and self-cultivation corner. The colors that correspond to this direction are blues, blacks, and greens. This corner is all about your personal development. Next, we've got the east corner that corresponds with the wood element. Wood is all about greens and blues. This is the family and health corner. So this is all about family issues, resolving the past. It's about your physical health and it's almost a rebirth of some sorts. So if you're looking to tap into your health, your family and community, this is the corner and the colors that you wanna play into. Moving on to the Southeast corner of wood, it's all about wealth and abundance. The colors that correspond to this corner are purples, reds and greens. If you're looking to enhance your gratitude, self-worth, or your finances, you'd want to enhance this corner with purples, reds, and greens with a wood element. The south corner is all about fire. So just think fire is reds, it's oranges, it's really bright crimson tone. This is the corner that's all about fame, recognition, reputation, and your social life. Moving on to the southwest corner, this is your love and relationships corner. This corner is guided by the earth element and it's all about pink and red tones. If you want to enhance your marriage, your relationships and partnerships, this is the corner that you want to inject more pink and red tones into. The west corner corresponds to the metal element. It's all about whites, bright and pastel colors. Just think elemental metal colors. This is the creativity and children corner. So if you want to enhance creative expression or joy, especially when it deals with your children or the kids in your family, you'd want to play up the whites and pastels in this corner. The Northwest corner is all about helpful people, your spiritual life and your travel. This is also the metal element and the colors that correspond are grays, whites and blacks. So if you're looking for a little bit more support in your life, this will be the corner that you want to enhance. And finally, at the center of it all is the earth element. This central portion of your home and space is all about yellow and earth tones. It's about being centered. It's about your overall well-being. This is the area where all your good fortune culminates into a crescendo. If you're not looking to enhance a particular corner or a particular element or some facet of your life that you feel is missing, really focus and concentrate on being centered. 
That's what great chi is all about. It's all about the energy that surrounds you and how all of those energies play together to make you feel a little bit more balanced, a little bit more centered, and a little bit more grounded as a result. The more you dive into your practice of feng shui, you'll see that there could be some conflicting ideologies out there. I went to university for psychology, so of course I could follow Wundt or Jung or Freud. So essentially, you do follow all of the schools of thought and then you kind of arrive at your own conclusion. My feng shui master taught me to always follow the compass directions. You'll see some books and some websites talk about how to align the Bagua map right onto your home using north as the front entrance of the home. But for me, I always follow the compass directions. The entrance of my home is a south facing wall. So in some cases, you could overlay this Pagua map and instead of south being south, that south entrance would be considered north. So depending on which school of thought you tap into, my number one advice is just to keep it consistent. If you always use the front entry as north instead of the true compass direction north, then keep it consistent throughout your entire practice. Now for the fun part. Let's talk about Benjamin Moore's color paint trends for 2022 and how that relates to the feng shui of your home. So if you look at all the color trends across the market from Benjamin Moore to Ferro and Ball to Pantone to Bear, I mean, pretty much all of the major paint vendors out there, you'll see that green is huge for 2022, which is really no surprise. A lot of design, whether or not it was fashion or interiors related, really gravitated toward those earthy, natural, organic elements. So there's a lot of green on this Benjamin Moore list. In feng shui, green corresponds to the wood and earth elements. The northeast and east corners of your home are perfect to kind of inject all of these green type hues. So if we look at Benjamin Moore's colors, October Mist, High Park, and Gloucester Sage are all greenish tones. These are a little bit more saturated in green tones. So if you want to enhance the family and health corner or the knowledge and self-cultivation corners of your home, these would be the colors to choose. Quiet Moments is a little bit more on the muted side, so it would still work beautifully in the family and health wood corner, but I would probably stay away from the northeast corner since it's a little bit more desaturated as a result. Fernwood Green has this yellowish tint to it. I mean, you really can't tell unless you put it against all the other greens, but you can tell that Fernwood Green is a mix between yellow and green. So if you look at the Bagua map, Fernwood Green will fall between the east and the center sections of your home. Moving over to Pale Moon. Pale Moon is this buttery yellowish color. And while it's not fully saturated and super yellow, this would fall between your earth center, which is the center of the home or the center of the room, and more towards the west corner, which is where creativity and children lie. So if you're looking for a color to enhance in that space, Pale Moon would be the perfect color to play in between those two spaces. Next, we've got Steam and Morning Dew. Steam and Morning Dew is kind of that off-white, taupey, tannish colors that are really easy to use in interior design and decoration. I mean, not only can I see entire walls painted in this color, you could also specify a sofa, a love seat, textiles if it's a bedroom. These colors would be perfect for that west side wall or the west corner of your space. If you're looking for a little bit more of the warmer tones in the off-white, moving all the way up to tan, sand, and coral colors, we've got collector's item, natural linen, Venetian portico, and wildflower. If this were a paint chip, I could easily see these colors being a part of a beautiful color palette for a space. You've got collector's item, which is almost this like warm bone tone. Natural linen leans a little bit more towards a tan, a sand color. Venetian portico is more on that terracotta side. And wildflower is now into those desert red tones. So wildflower would easily be in the southern section of your home where fame and reputation lie. It's all about that fire element, that red orange element. Venetian portico would easily lie between the south and the southwest corners. It's almost a mix between the two. Natural linen can easily travel between the southwest corner and the west corner, somewhere in the middle between those two, and collector's item is kind of within that corner range as well. Mysterious has deep, dark navy hues, so this color is perfect in the north sector of your home. 
Lastly, we have hint of violet, which clearly in the name, you'll know that violet corresponds to purple, and purple is in the wealth and abundance corner of the home. So if you want to enhance this corner of your home, maybe attract more wealth and abundance into your life, maybe have a little bit more gratitude, or feel a little bit better about your self-worth, it's all about injecting this southeast corner of the home or your womb with these purplish hues or a hint of violet. What good is understanding all of these colors and how they correspond to feng shui if you don't know how to use it in your home? The great thing about paint color trends is it's not just about your walls. Even though these forecasts come out year after year after year, I really just look at these trends to inspire the colors that I'm going to use in my home. Whether or not it's new furniture, new textiles, maybe a beautiful piece of art or a really fabulous rug, don't think just walls. There are so many different ways to incorporate all of these colors into your home, so let's break them down one by one. Steam, Collector's Item, and Morning Dew are all off-white tones. While it's really easy and natural to paint an entire room in these hues, think about injecting them in seating. Maybe an entire seating group based on these colors. A deep loungy sectional, even a pair of cushy armchairs. If you already have dark walls in your space, why not be inspired by these lighter tones for high contrast drapery? I love the look of white on white, but a cool designer's trick to make it feel even more special is to layer the whites with a little bit of contrast so it feels effortless and chic. Morning Dew is one of my favorite Benjamin Moore colors and I've used it multiple times against high contrast white trim. It has a hint of green to it, so if you have any green elements in your home, this would be a fabulous color to contrast the walls with. October mist would look equally great on cabinets as they do on walls. If that's a little bit too much of a commitment for you, think about upholstering your furniture in this color, especially if it already has a natural wood trim. I love how these greens feel subdued, elegant, yet very sophisticated in a space. High Park has a little bit more saturation. So if it's too much for all of your walls, think about a strategic focal wall or maybe even a corner with heavy drapery. I love the olive tones of Gloucester Sage and this art piece says it all. It's such a beautiful statement art piece to anchor a blank white slate in your home. This hue looks fabulous against natural walnut tones. This is probably one of my favorite colors in the entire Color Trends palette. Fernwood Green is a little bit more nuanced, so if you like a little tinge of yellow and brightness into your green space, try this color for textiles or even a corner accent chair. Quiet moments sounds like it looks. Quiet, reserved, beautiful, and calming. Pale Moon's buttery rich tones could lean a little bit on the yellow side. So if you want to inject a little brightness and cheeriness into this space, this is the perfect hue for you. I could see natural linen, Venetian portico, and wildflower in an entire color story. Natural linen would look gorgeous on a deep comfy sectional or even textiles on a layered bed, while Venetian portico and wildflower can be injected in the throw pillows that you layer onto that sofa. Think about creating a stylish vignette with these hues and watch your bookshelf come alive.
Wildflower's deep terracotta hues bring an earthiness into the space. It's great for those desert modern vibes that are all the rage right now. When injecting a little purple in your home, a little goes such a long way. A hint of violet would be beautiful on drapery or even a statement art piece behind your sofa. Why not try it as a singular accent chair in your layered living room? If you're looking for a little bit more drama, Mysterious will have you covered. If you have an all white bedroom, Mysterious would look fabulous for your windows and shades. This is the perfect color for those deep, dark, moody vibes. This was such a fun video to make. I really love talking about feng shui and the best part about it is how to incorporate it into your everyday life. Whether or not you're incorporating these paint color trends of 2022 in your daily life, I think it's just a great way to get a little bit more creative with your interior space. I don't subscribe to trends myself, but I still love looking at the forecasts. What you'll notice in interior design is that it's a little bit later than fashion. You know, fashion is go, 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 go. I mean, they've got a collection a season and interior design, of course, since it has to do with paint colors, furniture, textiles, is a little bit slower to kind of jump on that trend. So while these are paint color trends for 2022, I have a feeling you'll be seeing them for years down the line. I would love to make a video showing you how I feng shui my own home using strategic colors. So if you're interested in that video, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions when it comes to colors and feng shui and how to use it in your own home. I would love to help guide you in the right direction and maybe come up with new creative ideas on how to enhance certain corners of your home. Share this video with anyone you know who's interested in paint color trends or even feng shui colors and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.